like to sleep, right? Getting less than six hours of sleep is known to be bad for your overall health. Stress, jet lag, shift work and other sleep disturbances make you more likely to develop heart disease and even the risk factors for heart disease including obesity and diabetes. A regular lack of sleep may lead to high blood pressure in both children and adults. Hello and welcome to Medical Dialogues, your daily dose of health and medical news. I am Dr. Nandita Mohan and today I will be talking about sleep patterns and its connection with blood pressure. Napping on a regular basis is associated with higher risks for high blood pressure and stroke. This is in accordance to a new research that was published in the Hypertension Journal, which is a journal of the American Heart Association. Now, researchers in China, they examined whether frequent naps could be a potential causal risk factor for high blood pressure or even stroke for that matter. This is the first study to use both observational analysis of the participants over a long period of time and Mendelian randomization, which is a genetic risk validation to investigate whether frequent napping was associated with high blood pressure as well as ischemic stroke. The researchers in the study recruited more than 5 lakh participants between the ages of 40 and 69. They regularly provided the blood, urine and saliva samples as well as detailed information about their lifestyle patterns. The daytime napping frequency survey it occurred four times. The study found that a higher percentage of usual nappers were men, they had lower education and income levels and reported cigarette smoking, daily drinking, insomnia, snoring and even being an evening person compared to never or sometime nappers. When compared to people who reported never taking a nap, people who usually napped had a 12% higher likelihood of developing high blood pressure and 24% higher likelihood of having a stroke. The participants younger than age of 60 who usually napped had a 20% higher risk of developing high blood pressure compared to people the same age who never napped at all. After the age of 60, usual napping was associated with 10% higher risk of high blood pressure compared to those who reported never napping. The Mendelian randomization result also showed that if napping frequency it increased by one category from never to sometimes or usually from sometimes to usually, high blood pressure risk increased by 40%. Higher napping frequency was hence related to the genetic propensity for high blood pressure risk. Therefore, the researchers said that these results may be because although taking a nap in itself is not harmful, many people who take naps may do so because of poor sleep at night and poor sleep at night is associated with poorer health and naps are not enough to make up for that. That's all for today. Stay tuned to Medical Dialogues for latest updates. Never miss a medical update from Medical Dialogues. Like, subscribe and press the bell icon.